Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. Now we're moving on to France, uh, South France uh, specifically. Um, bought this because uh, I had never had a wine from this part of France, or at least that I know of. Um, this is the Reserve du, du Sud 2006 Minervois. Um, that is from the uh, uh, Languedoc Rousson area of France, which is the southern eastern part of France. Um, Minervois is kind of, okay, so, yeah, from your perspective, France like curves like this, I think, from your perspective, yeah. And so this is where that area of France is, and then Minervois is kind of like in the middle part, north, west, middle part of it. Anyway, so, um, 2006, I believe, was the vintage. 2008, I'm sorry. I had just glanced at it when I was pouring it. 2008, boy, let's not break it. All right, um, so 2008 is the vintage. Um, bought it for $8.59 at Specs, and I figured I'd check it out. Now, um, the... Grapes in this particular wine, I don't know because the website doesn't really give you anything other than, yeah, we have this label. Um, they, uh, uh, Fonkelu Vinobel, uh, Fonkelu is the, uh, is the producer and, uh, they have a bunch of wines that they do. So for this part on their website, it just kind of goes, yeah, we got these wines, you know, under this brand of, you know, Reserve du Sud. Anyway, um, it could be anything. <laughs> I'll just run through the list of uh, uh, grapes that it could have in here. Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, um, Rhone grapes of Maved Mavedra, Grenache, Syrah. Um, they could also have mixed in some white wines and some white grapes. Um, let's see, Carignan, Senso, Moved, uh, there's a whole bunch of other ones. Let's see, uh, Corbière, Falger, Fitou, and Minervois AOC, Senso, commonly used, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, it could be a bunch of different stuff in here. Just saying. All right, so let's check it out. Now, it could have been power, power suggestion, but they talked about carbonic maceration um, is a uh, is used, is commonly used uh, in making grapes here. Where did I see that in here? I don't know. I swear I saw that as a as a uh, uh, hey! Are you watching? Are you not watching, but come on, main watch. Somebody says they enjoy this stuff. One educated palate. I enjoy Languedoc Rousseau wines. Well, come watch, dude. Anyway, um, I didn't say anyone's watching. That's cool. So, um, anyway. As I was swirling for like a good minute. It's really swirling. I'm getting kind of that grapey. Kind of a grapiness, but a little bit of plum, prunish, but I'm also getting kind of spices, cedar box type of thing, uh, potpourri type of thing, and, and, and 
it's really subtle. It's not like really bursting with these aromas. It's just kind of like, it's kind of a combination of all that. It's something where I'm like, well, it kind of makes me think of this. Not that I'm like, oh, I'm definitely getting like cedar box. No, I'm just kind of getting like that, that thin wood box type of wood thing. It could be cedar. It could be something else. There's a, there's a kind of a, a dried flower potpourri type of thing. It might be the combination of that, the box and the potpourri uh, aromas, but it's very light. But the spices, I get some of that spice, darker red fruit, but nothing, nothing like just really predominant. It's very, very subtle. It's very, very light. So let's see how it tastes. not bad um everything i talked about in the nose i kind of get on the palate that plum type of flavoring almost prune you know almost kind of overripe get kind of a, a little bit of hint of wood um a, few, a little bit more than than through the nose uh again that 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 potpourri dried flower type of type of thing spices not as much on the spice aspect I don't think there's anything spectacular about it um, it's balanced it's well made um, but it's very, very light finish, very quick finish. Doesn't, doesn't have a long finish for that way. Um, very low on tannins, a little bit of acid. Um, I said it was balanced. I mean, it's balanced, but it's just like, it's just, but it just kind of like disappears. There isn't much going on. It just kind of hits you up for a little bit and you go, ah, oh. so not a whole lot of a lot going on here. Um, it's not a horrible wine by any means. Uh, it's nine dollars, eight eight fifty, whatever. So it's it's not outrageously priced. Um, if you're looking for something to try from that part of France, uh, buy it. I'd give it like an eighty four. Eighty four, yeah. So um, it's not bad. I mean, I, I I can enjoy drinking this, you know, some night after work or you know having it with with a meal. Something I didn't really talk about with any of the white wines, not 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 really. But this wine, I'd definitely be like, man, I probably should have some food with this. It'll probably improve the wine. The, the whites that I did tonight, <clears throat> you could probably just pair with anything that's a typical white wine pairing. But uh, not too bad. Anyway, if you see it, buy it. All right, so um, that's going to do it for this episode. If um, uh, you've got some comments about this, if you've had wine from the Minervois, uh part of France, uh, let me know uh, if you like this type of stuff. If you've had this particular wine, maybe you liked it, maybe you didn't. Um, so comments down below. Um, I'll probably have a link to their website. And uh, stop by to uh, click the links up, up on top to... Uh, Friend me up on whatever social media network you want to join with me. And uh, the donate button actually is kind of like to the left and down a little bit. You can do a monthly donation if you want. Anyway, um, donate some donate some dollars and uh, I can buy another $8.59 bottle of wine. That's going to do it and we'll see everyone again next time. <laughs>